Hello mga katuto, welcome to One on One TV and Tutorials. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay solving quartile, decile, and percentile for ungrouped data. Measures of position for ungrouped data. So meron tayong tatlong uri ng measures of position. Ito ay ang quartile, decile, at percentile. So simulan natin sa quartile. Sabi rito, Quartiles divide the entire set of data into four equal parts. At ito yung ating gagamitin ng formula para makuha natin yung quartile ng set of data. Q sub K equals K over 4 times N plus 1. Where K is 1, 2, 3. And N is the number of data. Next, decile. Deciles divide the entire set of data into 10 equal parts. At ito naman yung ating formula. D sub K equals K over 10 times N plus 1. Where K is 1, 2, 3, up to 9. And N is the number of data. Next, percentile. Percentiles divide the whole data into 100 equal parts. At ito yung ating formula. P sub K equals K over 100 times N plus 1 where k is 1, 2, 3, up to 99, and n is the number of data. Kung mapapansin nyo rito, pag sinabi natin quartile, ito ay apat. So, meron tayong 4 dito. Pag decile naman, ito ay 10. Kaya, ang denominator natin dito ay 10. Pag percentile naman, ito ay 100. Kaya, ang denominator natin dito ay 100. Let's have an example of quartile for ungrouped data. Find the Q1, Q2, and Q3 of the following set of data. So ito yung ating given set of data. Siguraduhin lang natin na itong given set of data na ito ay na-arrange na siya from lowest to highest. Ang ating given set of data ay na-arrange na. So bilangin lang natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, meron tayong 7 numbers. So, hanapin na natin ang Q1. So, ito yung ating formula. Then, substitute natin dito yung value ng N. Since ang N natin is 7. So, therefore, 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. Then, 1 fourth of 8 is equal to 2. Or that is second. So, titignan lang natin kung asaan yung pang second number. So, that is 15. So, therefore, Q1 is equal to 15. Or, first quartile is equal to 15. So, ito yung ating formula for Q2. Since 2 over 4, pwede nating i-reduce siya into 1 half. And the value of n is 7. 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. 1 half of 8 is equal to 4. Or that is 4. Hahanapin lang natin kung nasaan yung pang 4th number. For n that is equal to 19. So, therefore, Q2 is equal to 19. Or, the second quartile is equal to 19. Next, hanapin naman natin ang Q3. So, ito yung ating formula ng Q3. At ang value ng n natin ay 7. So, 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. 3 fourth of 8 is equal to 6. Pwede rin ang 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Then, 24 divided by 4 is 6. So, hanapin lang natin yung pang-anim. And that is 25. So therefore, Q3 is equal to 25, or the third quartile is 25. Paano naman kung ang ating given dito ay may decimal? So ang gagawin lang natin dito ay i-interpolate natin. So ganito lang siya. So find the Q1, Q2, and Q3 of the following set of data. So dito, nagdagdag lang ako ng tatlong numbers to make it 10. So, hanapin na natin ang ating Q1. So, ito yung ating formula. 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. 1 fourth of 11 or 1 times 11 divided by 4, 2.75. At ang 2.75 natin ay nasa pagitan ng second and third. So, para makuha natin ang ating first quartile, i-interpolate lang natin ito. So, ito yung process of interpolation. So, sundan lang natin ito. Q1 is equal to second. Itong second na ito ay galing siya dito. So, whole number na 2. So, that is second. Plus, 
0.75, galing naman siya rito sa ating 0.75 dito. And third minus second. Then, substitute na natin. Ang second natin dito ay 15. Plus 0.75. And third number natin ay 16. At ang second natin ay 15. Then, 16 minus 15 is equal to 1. Then, 1 times 0.75, so that is 0.75 plus 15, so that is 15.75. So, therefore, the first quartile is 15.75. Okay, let's have Q2. So, ito yung ating formula ng Q2. So, ito yung ating lowest term ng 2 over 4, at ang value ng n natin ay 10. Then, 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. 11 times 1 is equal to 11 divided by 2 and that is 5.5 or 5.5. At itong 5.5 na ito ay nasa pagitan siya ng 21 and 25. So ito yung ating fifth number at ito naman yung ating sixth number. So i-interpolate lang natin siya. So sundan lang natin ito. Itong fifth na ito ay galing siya dito plus 0.5 dito times yung 6 number minus the 5th number. Then, substitute na natin. Ang 5th natin ay 21 plus 0.5. Ang ating 6th number ay 25 minus the 5th is 21. 25 minus 21 is 4. Then, 4 times 0.5 and that is equal to 2. 2 plus 15 is equal to 17. So, therefore, the second quartile is 17. Next, subukan naman natin ang Q3. So, ito yung ating formula ng Q3. Then, substitute natin yung value ng n which is 10. 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Then, 3 times 11 is equal to 33 divided by 4 is 8.25. At ang ating 8.25 ay nasa pagitan ng 30 and 35. So, ito yung ating 8 and ito naman yung ating 9th. So, i-interpolate lang natin. So, Q3 is equal to 8. Yung 8 ay dito galing. Plus 0.25 dito. Times the 9th number minus the 8th number. Okay, mag-substitute na tayo. Ang 8th number natin ay 30. So, ito yung 30 plus 0.25, at ang ninth number natin ay 35 minus 30. 35 minus 30 is equal to 5. 5 times 0.25, and that is 1.25, plus 30, and that is 31.25. So therefore, ang third quartile natin ay 31.25. Okay, let's have another example. This time, decile for ungrouped data naman. So, find the D7 or the 7th decile of the following set of data. So, i-arrange muna natin ito. Then, bibilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, meron tayong 10 numbers. Okay. So, ito yung ating formula ng D7. At ang N natin dito is 10. 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. 11 times 7 is 77, divided by 10, and that is 7.7. .7. Sa iba, ang ginagawa na rito ay niraround na lang nila. So, this is 8. So, hahanapin lang dito kung asaan yung pang 8 number. And that is 30. So, therefore, the 7th decile is equal to 30. Pero kung gagamitin natin ang interpolation, ganito lang yung ating process. So dito, ang computed D7 natin ay 7.7. .7. So andito yung pang 7.7. .7. So ito yung ating pang 7 at ito naman yung ating pang 8. So ito na yung ating process of interpolation. So D7 is equal to 7. Dito galing yon Plus 0.7 dito. Times the 8th number minus the 7th number. So i-substitute na natin yung mga given values. Ang ating 7 ay 28 plus 0 0.7, 8 number is 30, and the 7th number is 28. 30 minus 28 is equal to 2. 
2 times 0 0.7 and that is 1.4 plus 28 and that is 29.4. So therefore, the 7th decile is 29.4. Let's have another example. This time, percentile for ungrouped data naman. Find the P35 or 35th percentile of the following set of data. So ito yung ating given set of data. Na-arrange na ito and there are 10 numbers. So ito na yung ating formula. Ang ating N is equal to 10. 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. 35 times 11 divided by 100 and that is 3.85. Pag niron natin ito, ito ay magiging 4th. Then hanapin lang natin yung pang 4th number and that is 19. So therefore, P35 is equal to 19. Pero kung i-interpolate natin ito, ito yung ating process. Ang 3.85 ay nasa pagitan ng itong numbers na ito. So ito ay ang ating third at ito naman yung ating fourth. So ito yung ating process of interpolation. Yung third dito, galing siya rito. Yung 0.85 dito ay galing naman dito. Times the fourth number minus the third number. Then substitute na natin. Ang ating third ay 16 plus 0.85. At ang ating fourth ay 19 minus ang third natin ay 16. 19 minus 16 is equal to 3. 3 times 0.85, so that is equal to 2.55 plus 16, and that is 18.55. So therefore, the 35th percentile is 18.55. So ganyan lang mga katuto kung paano mag-solve ng quartile, decile, at percentile ng ungrouped data. Para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson natin ngayon, pwede nyo ring sagutan ang mga sumusunod na mga tanong. Sana nakatulong ang video na ito para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson nyo sa mathematics. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!